This floodgate is the first of 18 that will be installed along the East River. It's part of the $1.5 billion Eastside Coastal Resiliency Project and is the largest urban resiliency project happening right now in the United States. New York City is always at the forefront and we're delighted to be here today. Arriving from Buffalo overnight, this one gate alone is 42 feet long, 10 feet high and 32,000 pounds. And officials say it will prevent future storm surges and flooding on the Lower East Side. Our project Project. This 800 feet of wall so far will protect over 100,000 residents for a 100 year storm. This area saw nine and a half feet of flood waters during Superstorm Sandy. The entire barrier will total 2.4 miles. Over the last few months, some residents have protested the project, saying it will do more harm than good to the environment after hundreds of trees were bulldozed for a new park. The commissioner of the city's Department of Design and Construction disagrees. They were planted when the park was built by Robert Moses. Um, a lot of those were affected by Superstorm Sandy. Uh, we're actually hollowed out and we're actually dangerous um, in that area. The city will plant 2,000 new trees in East River Park, plus 800 throughout the neighborhood. The park will also be elevated about eight feet with new amenities, including athletic fields and an amphitheater. And the floodgates will swing open and close to allow public access to the water. The first phase will be done by 2024 and the entire project by 2026. On the east side, Michelle Ross, Pix11 News.